Hello, we're going to be setting up the main development stack used in these tutorials. Um, for part one, we will be installing JDK 7 if needed, NetBeans 8, and Wildfly 8.1.0 final. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is check what version of Java we have. You can do this by opening terminal or command prompt and typing Java hyphen version. If uh, your version shows up as 1.7.0 underscore 71 then you're fine and you can skip this step of installing JDK 7. If when you type Java hyphen version it shows uh, a, a previous version or it shows Java command not found then what you can do is download JDK 7 the link is in the uh, description and run the installer for whatever operating system that you're on. After that install, just make sure that your Java version comes out to 1.7.0 underscore 71. Once we have uh, the JDK 7 installed and you get this output in your terminal, um, we can download NetBeans 8. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using 8.0.1. Um, again, in Mac, you just download the, the DMG. Uh, make sure that you select the Java EE version. Um, once you download that, you can just run the DMG and go through the install. Once the installation of NetBeans is complete, you can go ahead and run it. Um, we're going to download and install two more things, uh, one of them being Wildfly, Wildfly 8.1.0 final. Just put your zip wherever you're going to remember um, it's going to be and unzip it. To add Wildfly to NetBeans, you can go to the Services tab and you can go to Servers. Uh, to open the Services tab, you can go up to Window and look for Services or hit Command 5. Right-click on the servers and hit Add Server. Inside here, you're going to select Wildfly Application Server. And hit Next. The server location is going to go to just your, your uh, root directory where you unzipped it to. Hit Select and automatically it should um, select the standalone hyphen full dot xml file once you have that you hit next uh, domain I'm going to leave it on standalone localhost port 8080 is fine and I'm going to hit finish the only thing left to do for the wildfly install is to make um, a user to start that just go to the folder that you downloaded wildfly to um, from terminal right and go into the bin folder and then there should be a file there called adduser.sh. Um, just write, run that point front slash adduser.sh. Once inside here, um, select management user. You know what? I'm just going to make a demo one just, just to, to go through the whole thing of this username. I'm just going to put demo uh, password. Uh, when it asks you what groups do you want this user to belong to, just hit enter. Um, type yes, type yes, and that's it. All right, so now you have a user added to the Wildfly, and just to make sure that everything's up and running correctly, you can um, go back to NetBeans and go to your Services tab, again under Windows uh, Services, and under Servers, right-click your Wildfly application server and hit Start. Down here, you can see that it's starting. Once it's started and you see Wildfly 8.1.0 Final Kenny started, then you can go to your web browser and you should be able to access it by going to localhost colon uh, 8080. This should take you to the default Wildfly. And to access the admin, the default port for that is 9990. Once you go into there, um, type in the username that you created in the previous step on the add user.sh um, login. And if you see this page, then everything's running correctly.